He was nicknamed the Tasmanian Devil because he was constantly in motion. This is the story of Ron Lee, the 6 foot 4, 204 pound guard from the University of Oregon and why his career with the Phoenix Suns was so short. Hey there guys, my name is Brandon aka Suns Geek and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it and let's dive into the story of Ron Lee. In his first season with the Phoenix Suns, he played in all 82 games and averaged 22 minutes per game, 10 points per game, 3.6 rebounds, 3.2 assists, and nearly 2 steals per game while shooting 44% from the field. He ended up being selected by the Phoenix Suns fans as the most popular player in 1977 and was also named to the league's all-rookie team. Ron's teammates also nicknamed him the Kamikaze Kid for his aggressive style of play. Team captain at the time, Curtis Perry, said, and I quote, Walls, floors, seats don't seem to bother him. Bouncing off of other bodies doesn't seem to bother him. I just hope my man stays healthy, close quote. And on January 27th, 1977, Ron Lee exploded for a 28-point, 15-rebound, 8 assists, 6 steals game while beating the Philadelphia 76ers and Julius Irving 111-94. Alvin Adams swore that he would knock over his own mother to die for a loose ball. And in his sophomore season, he averaged 12 points per game. He led the NBA in steals with 2.7 per game and set a Phoenix Suns franchise record, which still stands today with 225 steals, a record which no Phoenix Suns player has ever come close to in a season, which is absolutely crazy. He was one of the most exciting players in the NBA, and Ron Lee played with reckless abuse. Abandoned. A furniture store in Phoenix offered a free waterbed to the fan who could most accurately guess how many times Lee would hit the floor in the Suns' 41 home games, and apparently he did so 230 times. Unfortunately, Lee was traded in his third season on January 12, 1979, traded to the New Orleans Jazz for popular player Truck Robinson. He basically said, it was the best team I was on and they used my talent. There were only certain teams I was a fit for and Phoenix was the perfect fit. Those guys could all score. It wasn't so important for me to score. Even though he was fourth on the team with a 12.2 point average behind Paul Westpaul, Walter Davis, and Alvin Adams. And unfortunately, after Phoenix, his NBA career went downhill from there. I think the reason was because it was due to injuries and him not fitting on the other teams that he was on. And also, I do think it might have been a mental thing. I think that he was severely crushed by the Phoenix Suns trading him, which all of this led him to leave the NBA in 1982. And the reason I make this video, you guys, is to share Ron Lee's story because he was a very popular player in his short time with the Phoenix Suns. And I wonder if the Phoenix Suns would have kept him for five years or longer, could we have been talking about Ron Lee in a different light? Now, I'm not comparing Ron Lee to these players, but because he was such an impact player and a fan favorite, could we be comparing Ron Lee to fan favorite players in recent memory? Players like Leandro Barbosa, Roger Bell, Boris Diaw, PJ Tucker, or even Mikhail Bridges. I just think if the Phoenix Suns didn't trade Ron Lee and Ron Lee stayed with the Phoenix Suns for five seasons or longer, he would probably be the Phoenix Suns all-time leader in steals, and he would be remembered by more Phoenix Suns fans. I do think the story is very interesting because Ron Lee was a very popular player with the Phoenix Suns, in his short time however guys thank you so much for watching this video my name is brandon aka suns geek and if it has to deal with the phoenix suns i'm going to make a video about it hope you guys enjoyed this new episode of phoenix sun stories i hope you guys are all safe and well and as always valley boys stand up